Hi, this is Joe from Denise Audio here to let you know about our newest plugin, the Perfect Plate. The Perfect Plate uses the same TX Verb technology that drives the Perfect Room, a plugin many engineers regard to be the best sounding natural reverb. The Perfect Plate is great because you can take control over its character and movement by being able to set the five aspects that we think determine a plate sound. How quickly and long the plate vibrates, how long it takes for the plate to react to the incoming signal, setting the space's stereo field, and how crazy the plate sounds by controlling different creative effects. The drums and the horns in this video are courtesy of the band The Break Beast from their upcoming single Nomadic War Machine. The voice is from Laura Loretta for a track called Roses by Rob Stegerman. With these features you can create a lush and rich vintage vocal plate, dark sounding with a long tail and slow damping. You've grown sadder all these years it's breaking me apart or the perfect rock drum sound bright with a short tail and fast damping get really creative by combining the reverb's plate features with built-in effects create a lo-fi synth or a big industrial sound add character and imperfections, or build cinematic and sci-fi effects. You can even go as crazy as to create a synth out of your drums by using the resonator effect. Get inspired, by the many sounds and options. The Perfect Plate comes in two versions. The first version is simply called Perfect Plate, which is great for users who simply require a lush and great sounding plate reverb, which gives you plenty of options for shaping the plate's color. The Excel version extends the sound design capabilities by adding an EQ graph, control over the damping slope, and creative effects specifically tailored for this reverb. This makes the XL perfect for producers who like to use effects creatively and have even more control over their reverberation. You can easily upgrade from the Perfect Plate to the Perfect Plate XL at any time, and the integration between the two plugins is quick and easy. For this demo, I will be using the XL version and will show the XL logo if the XL version is needed for the effects you hear. Now let's start by going over some of its features. First of all, I want to show you some of the shortcuts for the GUI, as we have some great functional additions for this plugin. Simply hold shift and click to allow you to change the value on each dial with more precision. This is especially useful for choosing low values like with the pre-delay. The plugin is resizable and stays very sharp when you resize the plugin. Double click on a value to reset a dial to its default value. Double click a graph node to reset it. You can also double click a slider to change its value manually and double click a node value on the top to change its value as well. The filter slope is the first control in the top left of the plugin. It makes the dampening filter slope steeper from 12 dB per octave to 48 dB per octave, which means it rolls off more high tones than low tones as the reverb tail progresses. The steeper the slope, the less high frequency vibrations are allowed to run through the plate. This can be used to emphasize the first part of the tail as you would do with early reflections in a room type reverb, exaggerating the attack of a sound, giving it a more metallic vibe without affecting the whole sound. Now we have the speed dial. 
This controls how quickly the plate vibrates. In conjunction with the curve, this controls how the dampening of the tail behaves. Slow values make the tail round and perfect for long reverbs, while short values make it snappy, conveying more of a metallic sound, perfect for adding colour to the source. Now we have a filter colour, and on the perfect plate we have three options. This lets you set the initial coloration of a reverb tail before the dampening filter gets applied. This means it lets you set the overall colour of the plate. Bright has a lot of high, but not a lot of low vibrations or frequencies. Natural has a balance of high and low vibrations and frequencies. Dark has a lot of low, but not a lot of high vibrations and frequencies. Below we have the EQ curve. Simply click on an EQ node to switch the controls in the top left to the EQ controls for that node. Now if we drag the EQ node, the controls in the top left change. You can also control the frequency, gain and the Q value independently using the mouse. Click off the node to revert back to the regular controls. If you want to use a plate reverb on your percussion or drums, but want the mid or low frequencies to stay out of the reverb to avoid frequency masking and create a clear and tight drum, this is what the EQ can be used for. You can also use it for highlighting sharp resonances in synths for a more creative effect. In the top right we have Flip. This reverses the reverb effect, which allows you to create a reverse reverb effect for cinematic productions and sound design, especially amazing on vocals or melodic instruments. All these years, it's breaking me apart. Split, which creates a stereo signal completely in phase. The great thing about the split feature is that the left and right signal have no correlation with each other, which allows you to create a wide stereo reverb from a mono source without any phase issues. You can use this on a mono source material to create a phase coherent, super wide reverb. The first of the effects is the resonance control. The controls for this can be opened up by simply clicking on the effect name. In the resonance control, we have three filters with frequency and resonance dials, and a gain control for each one. The plugin automatically controls the frequency with a note control, but can be changed to a frequency simply by clicking on the small dot next to the frequency control. Turn up the dial to select the frequency you want to affect, then turn up the resonance dial to dial in more resonance at that frequency. This feature can be used to mimic the tones of different plates and gives you great control of the plate's coloration, sound, and can really help you shape the tone of a drum or snare plate, for example. When the resonance is nice and high, you can back off some of the additional gain by using the gain control. The overall control is dialed in where the effect name is and can be moved from 0 to 100%. Each control can be turned off and on by clicking on the red dot next to the effect name. The second control is the drive control. Tape, buzz, bite and warp are independent distortion types which can be mixed into the effect with their own controls. Chain gives you the option to mix in the effect before or after the affected sound. The mix control allows you to make up for lost or additional level from the drive control. Rotate is the third effect, which is a host synced modulation control for the reverb. Vibrato, tremolo, filter and pan allow you to mix in these for different host synced effects. The rotate is very powerful 
because it creates movement in your reverb tracks. You can almost simulate classic rotating cabinets, emphasize musical sentences by creating a rotating reverb effect and make your reverb continuously interesting and different with slow LFO settings and low amounts. Shape allows you to choose from sine, saw, square, triangle and an inverted form of each one. Time allows you to choose the speed of the modulation, whereas feel lets you choose the groove. Offset lets you offset the modulation, and smooth lets you smooth out the LFO shape. You've grown older all this time. Life paints your face. You've grown sadder all these years. It's breaking me apart. Detune lets you modulate the effect, creating an out-of-tune pitch modulation. Wow and Shake do similar things, except Shake moves the effect quicker. Speed controls the speed of both controls. These controls combined give a unique detuning effect, similar to the one produced by analog tape devices, giving your reverb an extra vintage flavour. You've grown older all this time Life paints your face. Ducker is your sidechain compression, which uses the input signal as a source signal for the sidechain. You have all the regular compression controls here, threshold, attack, hold, release, and ratio. Reverb has a tendency to overwhelm the dry source signal it's used on. So with a Ducker, you essentially turn the volume of the reverb signal down at the times the source signal plays. This solves the above problem. For vocals, this helps exaggerate your reverb and still keep the words clean and intelligible. You've grown older all this time. Life paints your face. On the main panel we have input and output controls for the overall level before and after the effect unit. Also a mix control for a dry and wet mix balance. High pass and low pass controls can help cut the low end until it sounds tight enough and the high end till it doesn't overpower the mix anymore. You've grown older all this time Life paints your face the delay is a pre-delay, which controls how long it takes for the plates to react to the incoming signal. This helps maintain the clarity of drums and vocals, for example. Also, you can create a delay type effect by using a long pre-delay and a short tail. The tail controls how long the plate vibrates by setting the tail length of the plate and goes all the way up to 10 seconds. And finally, a width control which controls the stereo width of the stereo I showed you earlier. The width control determines how much space the plate takes in the stereo field. The Perfect Plate and Perfect Plate XL are out now on the Denise Audio website.